Now we are going to examine how to modify an existing sheet metal forming tool. The model I have on the screen, just like the last lesson, is the edge flange, and this can be found in your working files folder. In order to modify an existing sheet metal forming tool, we must go into the design library, expand the design library, expand forming tools, and once again, we are going to go into lances. I am going to modify the angled lance, but I do want to show you what it looks like unmodified in its original state. I'm going to place it. I'll roll the model just to give you a better idea of what we are looking at. And now let's modify that forming tool. We need to return to the design library and right mouse click on angled lance. We'll select open and it opens as a regular SOLIDWORKS part file. Notice feature manager tree and a simple part on the screen. You probably also notice that we have some different colors on this part, and these colors are important. Red represents the surfaces which will be removed in the sheet metal part, and yellow are the surfaces to be kept. Now before we modify this, let's take a look at how this forming tool was created. If we roll back the feature manager tree, we see a base was created to design the forming tool on. And next, we have a boss extrude for the basic shape of the forming tool. Then we modify it with a cut extrude and a fillet. And then as a last step, we use a cut extrude to remove the base. Now we're gonna modify this. So all we need to do is locate the appropriate sketch for the modification. I'm gonna modify sketch two, and I am going to remove this line here. I'll extend this line up, and then create a new line from this point to this point, and then close out of the sketch. Now the forming tool is modified. But we're not done. We have to redefine the forming tool. In order to do that, we go to the Insert pull down menu, Sheet Metal, Forming Tool. A very simple property manager opens, asking for a stopping face and faces to be removed. The stopping face is nothing more than the face on this part, which will tell SolidWorks how deep this forming tool should go into the sheet metal part. So this would be our stopping face here. The next window is asking for faces to remove. So I'll work around the part and select these three faces. I am now done with this tab in the property manager. I'll switch over to the insertion point tab. And SolidWorks has already specified the insertion point as being the center point of this face. And that's a good insertion point. So we're gonna keep it and close out of the property manager. Now notice the stopping face is cyan in color. The faces to be removed are red, and the faces to be kept are yellow. Now before I leave this part file, I need to save this as a new forming tool. So I'm going to select Save As. And by selecting Save As, this will allow me to keep my original angled lance as it was, and to create a new one under a new name. So I'm simply gonna add the word modified. So this forming tool is called angled lance-modified. I'll save the forming tool. I'm gonna to close out of this part file. My sheet metal part is now displaying on the screen. I'll return to the design library and you can see our new forming tool, angled lance-modified. I'm gonna place it in the sheet metal part, close out of the property manager, and then roll the model so you can see the difference between the two, the original angled lance forming tool and the modified angled lance forming tool. And this concludes our lesson on modifying existing forming tools.